Well, it looks like Zelda just passed out. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's good to see you again. This is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. My name is Rob and uh, uh, but a lot of people will have, I have a nickname called Ranger Rob so that's how it kind of happened. So anyway guys, it's a sparkling day once again in Central Oregon and uh, my biggest concern this morning is uh, making sure we have a full tank for the uh, strawberry towers. And uh, so we're gonna go check right here. And uh, now these strawberry towers, if you're new to the channel, are hydroponic. They do not have dirt. The, uh, and uh, actually there's enough water tank in here for today. Cool. Um, so what we use is coconut core and perlite in these. and once a day for about five minutes, uh, this little pump comes on and puts nutrients into these uh, strawberries. And so, uh, yeah, once it really kicks in, uh, these things are really start producing. So it was kind of an experimental thing. These are what they call Mr. Stackies. You can get these on Amazon. I think I have a link to them um, in, uh, in our description. But uh, yeah, they're fun to grow. Uh, there's different ways to do these. You can put these on your porch and uh, you can get little stands for them. Uh, you can do an automatic water, especially if you live in an apartment or something. You can fill this thing up with lettuce, uh, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, um, but the tank's fine. We don't have to worry about this one today. So cool. So uh, let's take a quick peek at the above ground garden before we do the piggies. I have a little concerned about the garden over here because I saw either a marmot or a rock chuck, I'm not sure if it's what it was from the window. Thought it was a squirrel at once, but uh, then it didn't really have a bushy tail. So I'm going, oh, could be a rock chuck. Anyway, so I just want to make sure he's, I'm not, I don't think he's getting into the above grounds, but he probably could do some damage to uh, the ground level plants. But uh, yeah, I mean this, uh, I gotta admit, I wasn't sure how well our above grounds were gonna do. <laughs> and, uh, I'd say they're doing all right. Um, lots of peas. Look at all these guys. These are all peas coming. These are uh, little sugar peas and they are really sweet and yummy and uh the dogs love them too and uh yeah um we haven't planted this one because we're kind of using it as a workbench the salad thing is just nuts and uh well lettuce so what i need to do probably today is trim out some of these uh butter crunch because they want to uh, I just need to let them rejuvenate. So the cool thing about these is you cut them down to about two inches and they'll grow back. So uh, any of this really big stuff, I just cut them back and let it start over. And it's uh, so nice and uh, um, so easy to make salads. And those are potatoes you see over there. And what we are waiting for, and carrots are always so slow, is these are carrots. And I got a second round of carrots started but I haven't seen them pop up yet. But they're slow. And, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this should take. There's no reason why they shouldn't. But the other thing that's getting kind of excited is 
the corn is growing well and for us this is all new this whole thing is new and uh, we have a whole lot of plants that are going to spread out all over this tarp here and uh, from pumpkins to watermelons to cantaloupe to uh, squashes so that's really exciting to see what this is going to look like I got a feeling after a while you won't even be able to hardly walk through here but uh, the problem with improving the land because you can see we're going from this well from that over there to this really over time the problem is is when you start making healthier soil growing things and getting things healthy you also bring in other critters <laughs> so uh you got to learn to balance don't hate predators because that's just telling me you have a good uh regenerative uh a healthy land that they want to live on and they can help you uh, so yeah um, give and take so I'm gonna see more snakes I'm gonna see more mice and rats and, and uh, marmots and stuff like that and uh, I have to find that balance uh, the more that we make this place healthy here's a uh, dragonfly hmm. Yeah, kind of nice to get kind of close to one, huh? So, uh, yeah, everything's coming up. Got some tomatoes coming. These poor tomatoes were really roughed up. So, uh, to see them starting to come to life and actually produce makes me feel good. So, yeah. Um, but most of all, what's exciting is the corn. And I've kind of been bringing you by the corn a little more because Cinder, get back. Go on, get back. Get back, Cinder. Go on, go on. <laughs> She's a smart girl. Um, is we want to get knee high by 4th of July. Today is like uh, the 28th, the 29th of June. So it's going to be close. But I think we might make it with this row. And uh, yeah, we just might be surprised. And it's kind of interesting. Some of these corns got nibbled on on the top but they're you know, they're still growing so they're coming up so uh it wasn't too bad a damage i don't know if it was or what it was but the corn's gonna survive i think so yeah fun to see all this corn coming up question is will any of it come through you know go all the way through to actually being edible and uh last year we came really close we tried to do just candy corn, didn't quite make it. But here, super good sun here, so we're really excited to see what happens. So interesting things are coming up on the channel here. And uh, this is something that all of us need to be aware of if you're a homesteader or have a little property or animals and stuff, is uh, I have a, a grandson coming up from Phoenix. Now you gotta understand they don't have farms and stuff like that in Phoenix, they're in Gilbert. So he's about nine years old, I believe. And uh, he'll be up here uh, in a week and a half with my daughter. And even my daughter hasn't done some of the things we've done. We've exposed her to a lot of cool things in her young life. So she's she can handle the creepy crawlers and, and the animals and, and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, my grandson will be a city kind of kid, and it, this is how it is. So our responsibility as places like this is to help educate, not belittle. I make that important. Do not belittle someone that's not been exposed to this stuff. Um, what we're trying to do is show them where their food comes from. And... Uh, all this and flowers and and all that cool stuff and uh, uh, how where our meat comes from and all that stuff and uh, he might be a little shocked because he's seen pictures of Mr. Cow and he, when he gets here he's gonna find out Mr. Cow's not here 
And uh, I know that seems like, guys, that's reality, but it's important that we balance out education of trying to explain the cycle of life. And so um, we got to be cautious and make sure that my daughter can explain things um, or uh, we just don't talk about it. <laughs> I don't know, but I think you should talk about it because you need to know where this stuff comes from. And uh, anyway, uh, it will be interesting week to have him here as the uh, um, last year was kind of, he was here for a short time, but uh, he was, loved to get the eggs. But the eggs have changed a little bit. So now he's got to deal with electric fences and things like that. So, uh, I mean, he's growing up. He needs to be accountable and learn how to do that stuff. He'll do it. He'll do great. But, uh, uh, but it'll take patience on our part. And then I'm asking you guys, when we have a chance to teach people, um, I can't help but eat these dang things. Um, Uh-oh. Someone's sneaking up on me. Did you see me at the garden? <clears throat> yeah, she likes these. I like them. She likes them. And Belle likes them too. And Belle's a big meat eater. <laughs> she, she doesn't like unusual things, but we may never get anything in the kitchen from here because we keep eating it. So anyway, guys, we got to do some other chores. And that starts with the piggies. So it's a little early in the morning. This is more like, well, about 10.30, oh, about almost 11. And uh, wow, the temperature is perfect out here and it's beautiful. And uh, we lucked out because we had a real hot spell last week. And uh, that happened to us last year, but it got even worse and uh, really affected the plants and stuff. But uh, I hope that we get a mild summer like this. So let me get these gates open. All right, guys. We're going to check their waters first, see what our situation is. It yeah, did pretty good, but we're going to rinse that one out. And uh, you can kind of hear the snapping of the fences going off. Uh, so we're going to power down the fences because when there's food involved, they get excited and they touch the fence a lot. Hi, guys. Hi. Maggie. How are you? Maggie. Now this Maggie, she is one big pig. I don't know if you can kind of see just how big she is. Huh? She's a big one. And so uh, we kind of laugh about putting Sparky in there. Uh, but yeah, she's pretty burly. <laughs> and then we got a little Zelda over here that we think is expecting piglets. And once again, a little surprise that she's expecting. Hi, baby. You get hungry? Now let me shut her fence off. And we'll start the procedure. Ah, hi, baby. I don't think it's much fun to be pregnant in the summertime. So yeah, let's get them fed. So we got uh, all the pigs fed, filling up their waters. And the two pigs over there, we're gonna let go let them uh, graze today. It's a good day for it. When it's real hot, they don't really move around and graze much. But when it's a little cooler, they actually cruise the property more. And they got a whole bunch of rye over here that we planted. We got a whole field of grass over there and uh, don't want to let it go to waste. So we'll let the two over there free range for today. So uh, right now I'm just kind of waiting for them all to finish up on their feed and stuff and then uh, <laughs> get over their fights and uh, let them go cruise. And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, just got a lot of new subscribers. We do keep a camera right here um, to monitor uh, Zelda. And uh, as soon as we see that there's any sign of uh, piglet time, uh, one is we'll watch her on the uh, camera. Plus we can take pictures uh, to use for video. And uh, yeah, uh, we haven't been letting her run free because one is I don't really want her fighting. And two, uh, 
we just don't know how far along she is with the uh, piglets and we're just kind of protecting her a little bit. So uh, <laughs> water's all filled up here. We're gonna shut her down, open up the fence for the uh, two little dorks over there and let them cruise today. I have uh, already closed their gate back here so they can't get out. Dogs are out of here now. And uh, over here, everything I have problems with is darn pigs come over and tip over everything. But uh, they're just curious. But uh, shut down or took off their power, untie their fence. And uh, I gotta shut this off because <laughs> I can't do it one handed. So I got their fence open. They have no idea it's open. <laughs> They'll figure it out. And uh, I'm just gonna leave them be. So uh, all the pigs are happy campers. Let me uh, move this, they'll knock this over. This is because they're brats. So I'll move this and uh, yeah, let them have the day of freedom. Yeah, a lot of times I just set this whole unit up on the roof here and uh, yeah, and uh, that way, just one less thing for them to break. Those my pretty little girls. Huh? They feeling good? Yeah. I see Cinder. Hi, Cinder. Hi, Cinder. All right, so piggies are free. They don't know it yet. They're still... Oh, Maggie just figured it out. And uh, I know the little ones here, chickens, need fed this morning because they only had a little bit left last night. I always try to make them clean up their mess before I give them more food. Keep some mice down. So let's give them some food. All right, so we get them on, get the little ones all fed. Check the greenhouse, turn up the fans, see how it's doing. So uh, for all of our new, uh, viewers our greenhouse is totally hydroponic so no dirt so uh what we got to check for every time we come in here is to make sure we got um, nutrients in the tank here which needs to be refilled it's low and we also got to top off the floating rafts these are literally floating on nutrients this one's kind of low so we're going to be topping them off today and uh our nutrients consist of uh, calcium nitrate, master blend, which is uh, designed for tomatoes, and Epsom salt. And uh, uh, the ratios are like uh, based on five gallon in increments. So every time we fill these, we kind of have to guess or estimate how many gallons that I'm replacing. So uh, yeah, let me uh, get my hose and let's get this tank refilled before uh, we run out of nutrients. All right, guys, so uh, we got the tank filled up, swamp cooler filled up, the floating raft filled up, and in a day or two, we'll probably have to do the last one in the back. And, uh, oh, the interesting thing here is I was experimenting with a strawberry, and uh, it's been doing all right, but look at this. Actually, actually have a strawberry starting to turn over, so. That's kind of interesting. The one on the NFT, I put on the towers. Come on, Cinder. So, uh, yeah, we're all done in here. Let's move on and check on the big chickens. I uh, checked in the big chickens. They're all doing good. Uh, I noticed Maggie made it to the big field out there. Kind of hard to see her. I have no idea where Sparky is, but that's a lot of grass there. And uh, there's Sparky's way over there hanging out with uh, Zelda. Trying to tip things over. But yeah, nice to see them enjoying the grass. Well, I was just sitting here and I was watching watching the pigs in the field and they scared a baby bunny over to here and it's over by the chickens, right over there. And uh, where all the chickens are kind of bunched up. So uh, I'm kind of curious, kind of curious if the bunny will come any closer. Of course I got the dogs with me too, but let's see if we can capture this little bunny. Not capture him, but get a picture. Yeah. 
BB. Well, he uh, just ran off over here and uh, that's actually not a very safe form place for me because I got a dog over there that likes to chase critters like him. But it's pretty rare to get a close up picture of a wild baby bunny. So I thought I'd come back here to the upright gardens with the uh, lettuce here. I'm going to trim some of this out and put it in this bucket and take it out to the chickens. That way it kind of rejuvenates the growing here so things don't go to go to flower so yeah let's just can get some scissors and do some trimming So it looks like I really mutilated this area, but I took it all down to about two inches of this area here because I want them to refurbish or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> regenerate. And uh, I got quite a bowl of lettuce to give to the chickens, so they're going to be pretty happy. Well, those are going to be some pretty happy chickens. I actually gave some to the baby chickens too, um, but these guys will mutilate this. So uh, yeah, good for their diets, give them some new nutrition, and it helps me thin out my uh, my lettuce bin there. So yeah, pretty cool. So guys, uh, before the podcast, which was today, uh, I was working on the tower number five over here, and I'm getting ready to show Sherry what we did, but. I've been having trouble getting water all the way to this, uh, uh, well, I want to show you a part, to the end of these towers. So we tried this new emitter, what do you call these things? Remember? Anyway, it's used for gardens and stuff, but I think I just don't get enough water pressure at the end. Even this didn't work that well. So I've been frustrated. So I was uh, trying all the things. I even put a second motor in to bypass the first four so the second motor just does this one at the end. Then I got to thinking, because the problem is with these towers, is if you put water here, then it goes straight down. Now it does go into the center a little bit, so I'm explaining this to my wife too. But it drips from here to here to here and can miss these side ones. So then you have to put an emitter here too, here, 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 and here. So I created Circle of Life. This is it. And so what I did is I <laughs> took a little 90 degree, made a little circle out of a one uh, half inch pipe, just put little emitters on it with no pipes. And I uh, did some tests on this and it works great. I just got to cinch it down. So I didn't get it quite done for our podcast, but uh, <coughs> it works great. <coughs> so. Uh, if it continues to work this good, you can see what we've done here, where we had to run pipes, do a splitter, and do the two different sides where you got the side here and here and here, and they clog up and it's not really the best scenario. This could be, uh, you know, I, I could trademark it and get rich. You think? No? I don't know. The, yeah, it'd be the tower of power. But yeah, so it works great. You just, um, it goes uh, out this way and goes down. So two different directions. Oh well, yeah, so I got water coming downward and outward. So it covers both parts there. I just need to cinch this down. That's all I have to do. I have to do some drilling tomorrow, but I ran out of time. So this, I've always had trouble with this tower because I can't seem to get water to it as consistent as the other four. So it looks got to go. <laughs> And, and I've, I've trademarked it. <laughs> it's the circle of life. So, uh, 
Anyway, yeah, it works good, so I'm really happy how that came out. So, all right, we're going to walk out to the piggies and get them all settled in because they're roaming free out there. And uh, But they're at the fences saying, give us food, so they're not roaming free. They're just waiting for food. So uh, uh, it's always a little interesting because if they're hungry and they're free, they tend to get a little pushy. And uh, so uh, we have to be on our... Uh, be on our toes because Sparky can be a little pushy. So uh, he's never bit us or anything, but he gets pushy because he has to because he's the same pin with Maggie. What pigs do. <laughs> yeah. So that's always one thing I always want to bring people is, yeah, you know, pigs are can be friendly. The IPPs are good about that stuff. But pigs are pigs or animals. So you have to understand how they respond. And sometimes you got to push back. You gotta literally knee them and push them back because that's what they do to you. And so, and never put your hand in front of their mouth or anything like that because they're gonna taste you because they don't have anything to feel with hands or anything. So they they respond with their mouth. So Well, they're always hungry. And they're always hungry, yeah. It's like when they're not hungry, they're pretty Yeah, but you do have to be cautious. So even with Cooney Coonies or any Idaho pastures. We're being greeted at the gate here, but anyway, guys, we gotta be on our toes here, so we'll check you out in a minute. Well, it was a little distracting, <laughs> hard, but we got the pigs back in their paddocks, so now we're just getting them fed and watered, and we'll be all done here, so yeah. And it's a pretty evening once again. Well, it looks like Zelda just passed out, <laughs> so she ate her food, got her drink of water, checked her food again and rolled on her side because mom's here. So you know what that means. Tummy rub time. I got to move this water over to the other piggies and uh, it's a quiet night. It's actually a very beautiful night. So there she is waiting for her massage mom. I'm going. <laughs> well, I got the water all set up for the piggies over there. Mom's giving a great massage to, to uh, Zelda. It's adorable. And we're going to wrap up the video right here, guys. So please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over where, Mom? The whole wide world. The whole wide world. Yes, sir, Rebob. So, guys, have a great evening. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.